So here we are, The Night of the Se Sleepy Panda 2. So uh, no, that's not a, a sequel to the film. It's the second part of a video, of a group of videos about how we play this piece called The Night of the Sleepy Panda. In the first video, I looked at the right hand. Uh, I won't go over this now, but just to say you really should be familiar with how to play your right hand part before you tackle the left hand. But we're now gonna look at the left hand bit. Um, I'm going to mainly just be showing you things on the piano, but I really want you to try and match up what you're playing with what's on the page. So remember, everything is a black note in this piece. Everything is a sharp. Uh, so in the left hand, we start on F sharp, come up to C sharp, then up to F sharp above the starting note, and cross over, and you cross over onto G sharp. And that is a tie there, so that note's only played once. Um, I'm just going to show you. Uh, and talk just a little bit about how the pedaling's going to work as well. So uh, let's not worry about the pedaling to begin with. A bit more about that later. So here's your first phrase. Now, if you look at the music, you'll notice you play the same phrase one, two, three, four, five, five times, and then on bar six you do something slightly different. So here is bar one. So it goes one and two and hold. One and hold. You get the idea. So little finger. Second finger on there, thumb on there, crossing over and holding, okay? So you do that five times, then on bar six, so if I, if I play bar five, which is the same, and then you're going to drop your little finger onto, if you look at the beginning of bar six, you'll see it starts on a C sharp, and you simply go... Like that. So I'm going to do bar five and six here, so just to get used to going between them. starts like the, the first few bars, but instead of bringing two over, you're going to bring three over and go one more note to the A sharp, and then if you just follow the, the way the notes go up and down, it goes down, up, up, down, down. So here's bar seven and eight again. So that's the second line. So second over, little finger on the C sharp, drop down, bring three over, go an extra note. Okay. So let's put that together so far. So going from the beginning. So I'm going to show you now what happens in bar nine. It's very much like the beginning. So this is bar nine. Same again. Same again. Same again. Right, last line. Same again. Unlike before. And then you drop down. Now this time, instead of taking the three over, you're going to take the two over and come back and down and back. Now I did a tiny bit of the fingering very slightly different from what's written here in the last line. I don't think it makes a lot of difference. So here's the last line. So I just did this thing again. You'll notice they've actually got something slightly different in there, which I just think is a bit fiddly. So they've actually got this. It just all seems a bit much. Let's stick to that. Drop down. Cross a two, not a three. And back down. Again, at the end, they've written one, three, one. But if you go one, two, one, it really doesn't make a lot of difference. So here's the last line. Okay, so just to finish off, I'm going to play the whole of the first line. But just to mention the pedaling, so let's see how we get on with this. So the, the aim, and you may not get this straight away, but you want the ped one pedal per bar. You'll notice it's got the pedaling marked in. So it gives you the first bar, there's ped, that means put the pedal on. And then 
That there means where you reset it, it goes up and down. And sim means do a similar thing. Now the trick to pedaling is to do it just after you start the new bar. So I'll show you what I mean. So I'll put the pedal on at the beginning and I'll slow everything down. So the pedal's on, can you hear it on? Now, I'm keeping the pedal on and I'm going back to play the next bar. And as I play the first note, after I play the note, in the moment that it's held down, I reset and I do it again. So, so remember the note's got to come first. So note on, reset, carry on. Watch you don't place the note and, and take let it all go at the same time so you'll get that gap. So just going again. So I put the pedal on. So just in the moment I've got the note on, re-pedal. And we get a lovely continuous wall of sound. But one that changes with the chords on each bar. Here's the next bit. Instead of taking three, a two over and back down. 